Topic 5.1 Alkin Learning Outcomes At the end of the lesson, students should be able to A. Describe the combustion of alkane in excess oxygen and limited oxygen B. Explain the halogenation reaction of alkane Reaction 1 Combustion of alkane Alkane burn in air, oxygen, to give carbon dioxide, gas, water, and heat. For example, combustion of alkane in excess oxygen. Given is butane, C4H10, plus with 13 over 2 oxygen, produce 4 mole of CO2, carbon dioxide, plus 5 mole of water and heat. Excess oxygen means oxygen berlebihan. In excess oxygen, it will produce carbon dioxide. Okay, next. For limited oxygen, we have two types of limited oxygen. The first one is limited oxygen and the second one is very limited oxygen. Limited oxygen means oxygen terhad. Very limited oxygen means that oxygen yang sangat terhad. Okay, for limited oxygen, for example, butane, plus 9 over 2 oxygen produce 4 mole of CO, carbon monoxide, plus 5 mole of water and heat. For limited oxygen, it will produce carbon monoxide. For very limited oxygen, butane plus 5 over 2 oxygen produce 4 mole of carbon plus 5 mole of water and heat. Okay, for very limited oxygen, it will produce carbon. That's the difference between excess oxygen, limited oxygen and very limited oxygen. Okay, not all of the carbon is converted to carbon dioxide. Some of it forms carbon monoxide. As a conclusion, for excess oxygen, it will produce carbon dioxide. For limited oxygen, it will produce carbon monoxide. And for very limited oxygen, it will produce carbon. Okay, that's the difference between excess oxygen, limited oxygen, and very limited oxygen. Okay, carbon in the hydrocarbon is converted to elemental carbon. That is soot, jelaga. Reaction 2. Halogenation. Free radical substitution. Free radical is radical bebas. Substitution is penuka gantian. So free radical substitution means penuka gantian radical bebas. Okay, alkanes react with halogen such as chlorine and bromine to produce haloalkanes in the presence of light UVHV or temperature greater than 100 Celsius. Okay, the overall reaction is RH 
plus x2, hv produce rx plus hx. Okay, x2 symbol for chlorine or bromine. Okay, x2 is symbol for halogen. Okay, substitution, penukar gantian means substitution between hydrogen and halogen. Tukar ganti. Okay, it will produce Rx and Hx. Tukar ganti. With methane, the reaction produce a mixture of halomethane and a hydrogen halide. Okay, this is methane, CH4. Methane plus chlorine in the presence of UV, ultraviolet, produce first CH3Cl. Okay, substitution between hydrogen and chlorine. Tukar ganti. Okay. Produce CH3Cl, CH2Cl2, CHCl3, and lastly, CCl4. Next. Second one is ethane. CH3, CH3, ethane. Plus Cl2 in the presence of UV. Produce CH3, CH2, Cl and HCl. Substitution between hydrogen and chlorine. Tukar ganti. Okay, next. So, third example. 2,2-dimethylpropane. React with chlorine under UV. Produce okay, two two dimethyl one chloropropane. Also substitution between hydrogen and chlorine. Okay. Example two. And example 3, one product only because all the hydrogen atoms are identical. Identical means carbon having same number of hydrogen. Okay, I repeat. Identical means carbon having same number of hydrogen. Carbon mempunyai bilangan hydrogen yang sama. Okay, another example. We have propane. React with chlorine under UV. It will produce two products. Major and minor. Okay, in this case, hydrogen are not identical. Okay, hydrogen are not identical because, okay, let's look at the first carbon. First carbon have three hydrogen. Second carbon have two hydrogen. And the third what third carbon having three hydrogen. So hydrogen are not identical. Identical maksudnya setiap carbon mempunyai bilangan hydrogen yang sama. Okay, untuk propane bilangan hydrogen tidak sama. 
Karbon pertama dan karbon ketiga ada tiga hidrogen. Tetapi karbon kedua hanya ada dua hidrogen. So kita kata hidrogen are not identical. So it will produce major and minor product. Okay, if the hydrogen are not identical, it will produce major and minor product. Okay, next. Okay, how to get major and minor product? Okay, this is primary carbon. This one also primary carbon. Okay, this is secondary carbon. So, secondary carbon is more stable than primary. Secondary carbon is more stable than primary carbon. So, secondary carbon will produce major product. Secondary carbon will produce major product. And the primary carbon will produce minor product. Okay. So, substitution for secondary carbon Substitution between hydrogen and chlorine. For primary carbon, substitution between hydrogen and carbon and chlorine. Okay, chlorine. Fast and unselective. Okay, look at the second example. Reaction of propane with bromine. Bromine slow and selective. So reaction with bromine will produce Major product in higher percentage. Okay, bila kita gunakan bromine, major product quantity banyak, 99%. Compared to chlorine, major product 55%. Okay, tindak balas dengan chlorine adalah laju. Bromine slow. So, bila slow, dia akan produce banyak major product. Okay, reaction sama. Secondary, primary. So, secondary substitute with bromine. Hydrogen substitute with bromine. For primary, hydrogen substitute with Bromine also. Okay, note. Secondary free radical is more stable than primary free radical. Okay, secondary free radical is more stable than primary free radical. So, the secondary free radical will produce major product. Secondary free radical will produce major product. Primary free radical will produce minor product. Next example. Okay, primary. This is primary carbon attached to bromine. This is secondary 
carbon. And this is tertiary carbon. Primary carbon will produce primary free radical. Secondary carbon will produce secondary free radical. And tertiary carbon will produce tertiary free radical. Okay, tertiary free radical is more stable than secondary and primary. Okay, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary means carbon attached to one alkyl group. That is primary. Secondary means carbon attached to two alkyl group. So that is secondary. Tertiary, carbon attached to three alkyl group. So that is tertiary. The strongest CH bond is methyl. And the weakest CH bond is tertiary. The weakest CH bond is tertiary, means that increasing is of hydrogen abstraction. Hydrogen lebih senang untuk uh, tukar, untuk berlaku substitution. Okay, the weaker the CH bond, the more readily the hydrogen to be replaced in Radical halogenation. Thank you.